Age is quite welcome back to sort of is and worth it. Age is quite welcome back to sort of is and worth it. So this episode we got this cool underground here and basically what these are are some bowls that you can use to put food or anything else on here. And you see in the top part here they mention how to use wheat straw to actually make the bowls which are really eco-friendly and they also mention how the product is BPA free as well. And if you guys turn to the side they also probably got some specs and features on here as well. So they mention how it's unbreakable, eco-friendly, microwave safe and dishwasher safe as well. And for the one that I got right here is the 34 ounce. They come with a set of six of them. They also have this available in the 24 ounce size. So if you guys prefer that one, you can get that instead. But first I'm actually open this up to show you guys what the inside looks like. All right, so once you guys open up, this is what it looks like inside. Let's take all of it out. So once you guys take it out, here is basically what the product looks like. So you can see they probably got six different bowls on here with different color. And all of them are the same size and same design, just different color. So I'm actually got one of them to show you guys what she looks like. All right, so once you guys take it out, here is basically what the product looks like. So the bottom part right here has this little part that sticks out, which is like your typical ramen bowls and etc, which is pretty cool. When you guys feel material that's on here, it definitely feels like a pretty high quality material, even though it is weak strong. If you guys look at the inside, this is what the inside looks like. And then you see in the very bottom, they also probably got some information in terms of how you guys can use it. So it is dishwasher safe, it is microwave safe, freezer, refrigerator safe, and you guys can also use a microwave as well if you guys want to. And you do have the option to put like hot stuff or cold stuff on here. And when you guys kind of squeeze a little bit, it definitely feels a lot more durable than plastic material. But the product definitely is reusable, which is pretty cool. And when you guys smell the product, <laughs> there isn't any weird smell or anything, which is pretty cool. So when you guys feel the overall weight of the bowl, it definitely feels pretty lightweight. So even though they mentioned how the product is dishwasher safe, I still recommend hand washing it so that way it knows it's clean. And then supposedly for these bowls, they mentioned when you guys put like hot stuff or like really strong color stuff like chili or something, it will stain the product. So that's definitely something to kind of consider when you guys do get one of these bowls. So that is basically everything that's on the product. Let me actually go do a quick test to pour some hot water in here to show you guys whether or not the product is like heat resistant and etc. And I'll come back and talk more product in a second. All right, so I've been here in the background, we are pouring some water. And right here, I do have the bowl. So I'm actually check the temperature to show you guys what the temperature before and after. So that way I know that I am adding hot water inside. So let's press on the button. That is the temperature right now, which is 76 degrees. Now let's wait for the water to boil and then we'll add it in. All right, so the water just finished boiling. So according to the electric kettle, right now it's at 212 degrees Fahrenheit. But let's pour it in. All right, so that should be good. So we see all the steam that's coming out. So let's check the temperature to show you guys how hot it is. All right, so it's around 190 degrees. And when you guys feel the side of the bowl, it definitely feels pretty warm. And over time, when I'm putting my hand on here, it's starting to warm up even more or get hotter. So you definitely want to be careful when you guys touch it because it does get pretty hot on the side. But you see the pot definitely does work if you guys do add hot stuff on here. Welcome back guys. So next we'll get to test the pot and definitely see if she does work and she works quite well. So whether if you guys want to put like hot stuff or cold stuff in here, that is totally up to you guys. But if you see from the actual video, the product definitely does work if you guys do add hot liquid or hot stuff inside. They also mentioned the max temperature resistance that's on here is 220 degrees Fahrenheit. So as long as you guys don't exceed that limit, then you should be fine. And I also love the design of the product, how you guys can actually stack it to save space, which is pretty cool as well. And like I mentioned earlier, the way how to design the product, it is an unbreakable bowl. So if you guys accidentally drop it on the floor or drop it somewhere else, it should be fine. But that is basically everything that's on the product. Now to go unboxing and test the product. Now to end the question of whether or not it should work or not. So for this product, I do have to say that it is pretty worth it if you guys want to need one of these. Especially if you guys are in the market looking for a high quality eco-friendly bowl that's very similar to like plastic material but a little bit better. That you can use to put like hot food or cold food and etc. Then I do have to say that it is pretty worth it. But then obviously for those of you guys who don't want or don't need one or have one of these, then obviously don't buy one and save your money for something else that you do need. So that's basically everything for this video itself. If you guys like this video, make sure to smash that like button in the bottom. That will definitely help this video out. And it will definitely help with the algorithm as well to promote more videos for you guys so you guys can see more of the videos or similar videos as well. But as always, make sure to stay positive, be you, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Is It Worth It? Peace.